and welcome to the channel. I did a couple of reviews in the last uh, couple of weeks. Uh, one of them was on a new skid plate that I have on the bike and uh, the chain adjuster you can look up uh, on my channel and also the wireless charging hub uh, for my phone that was made by uh, Quadlock. Let's make it short and let's start unboxing and see what are the content and the specs of this thing. I got it from Amazon. There's not really, well, there is a name by Johnson Design, but uh, I think it's quite generic, uh, made in China. It's uh, all it says is on a sticker here, Johnson Design, and it's a wireless air pump. Okay, so first thing what we see is they give they supply a little storage uh, pouch that we can use and then we have the instruction manuals. Uh, I did it. I did charge it before I left the house. So I hope it's good state charge. Uh, I, I got it a couple of weeks ago. I never got into it and I charged it, but I thought I gotta make the review quicker, but it was cold and I wasn't able to, to do that. So they show you all the accessories. So that's pretty straightforward. Nothing really to that. Nicely packaged. All right, so I want to add that this pump also can act as a power bank if you are on an adventure and of course you have a flashlight with the SOS slide uh, what I was reading so there's few nice feature on this thing two charging ports uh, well three actually uh, regular USB USB type C to charge your device or the unit itself then you have the actual plug to charge a 12 volt accessory on your motorcycle or a car, whatever you want to use that on. It looks like yeah, it is made out of aluminum. Uh, very nice. Uh, it's, uh, it's not that heavy. Uh, I will put the specs uh, down below the video. Uh, I'm actually somewhere where I have no, no cellular service reception. Uh, work, welcome to Alberta, not far that far away from the city. And I got no coverage uh, here whatsoever and let's see what the rest of the contents are in here all right so you got your charger or you can also use this as uh, the 12 volt accessory and power the unit and you can still inflate the tires so that's another good benefit of that then you have your inflator hose uh, let's bait it. Uh, looks like it's a pretty decent quality as well, even though it is made in China. A couple other items, USB Type-C charging cable. Uh, probably everybody has quite a few of those around. A few different adapters like a ball inflator, a couple different sizes for mattress inflators. I don't know what are those things. Uh, there's a couple other types and they look like they have some o-rings. So I'm not gonna be concerned about those things. I just wanna get right into the actual pump itself. So basically, you just screw in your hose. Let's go over the features. So your power button right there, press and hold. Hopefully you're gonna be able to see it. It's uh, quite bright in here, but it's got a pretty large display with the battery indicator. So that's a bonus, uh, you can easily see that. And also it's got an automatic shut off. So if you uh, set your tire pressure that uh, you want in a tire, it will automatically shut off. So I will test that uh, very shortly. Uh, another thing is your different modes. So you can rotate from uh, PSI, bar and kilopascal. So you got three different options. Uh, I prefer using PSI. So we'll leave it at that, there we go. And uh, another feature is your SOS, so there's your flashlight uh, when you press it once. Again, probably it's not gonna be too visible, but trust me, it's on. Then you have a red, blinking red, quick blinking red, and next press is turning it off. Of course, uh, you got your pressure up and down, uh, however you want to adjust it. So, looks decent. So let's turn this on to, to see how, how noisy that is. Oh, actually not too bad at all. 
display it gives you the option between inflating the ball then car motorcycle and a bicycle so you got uh, four different modes to use this so what i will do i will deflate this tire a little bit i'm gonna take off my tpms sensors and i have uh, two different gauges one analog and one digital so i will see what is the difference between the pump and the gauges in case if you wonder if you haven't watched my previous videos those tires are moto z tractionators gps and uh, i run the front at uh, 28 psi and the rear at uh, 32 psi and that usually doesn't matter if it's on or off road so that makes no difference unless i would be going maybe in a deep sand i would have to uh, loosen up uh, release the pressure a little bit or maybe i should take a reading what am i at right now on the pressure nothing so i deflated it pretty good so we'll set it to 28 So the reading on a gauge of this compressor was zero when I started, so there was nothing, same as uh, my analog gauge. There is a little bit of air because I could still feel it, but uh, not too much. I don't want to com go completely flat so it doesn't come off the bead. Okay, we are 8 uh, PSI right now. Doesn't get hot yet, and it's not loud, I like it. Doesn't really matter that feature if it's loud or not, but... 17, 26, so hopefully two more PSI that should shut off. And exactly 28, it did shut off. Okay, let's pull that off and we'll check the pressure with the manual gauge first. I find, I think that this one is the most accurate and bang on, 28, wow, all right. And what about this analog or digital? Sorry. So that might change by half a psi or so. When you, I don't, I'm not sure what this one is showing. 12. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I think that gauge is pushed. <laughs> Maybe the battery is low or something, because there's no even an option to switch the mode. Okay, let's uh, top it up again. So it's, it has a memory, so it will remember the last setting you were on. But you cannot preset uh, two separate two tires separately, just so you know on that part. And 28. All right. So I'll put my sensor back on. So it doesn't matter how many gauges you're gonna use, they all gonna be always different uh, from my experience. Even my sensors on a GPS, on a Zumo, they don't uh, match ever. N the whatever I put in or the analog gauge that I use. I will check the back uh, at the same time and see how is the back pressure. So I'm reading 35, so that's uh, too much. Uh, yeah, it got warmer since last time when I was making the pressure adjustment, uh, which is almost a month ago now. But it was still very cold outside when I took it for a ride. All right, so now we should be lower. I'll drop it to around 20. And I'm again, I'm working in the PSI. All right, so I got 20 PSI and we'll reset, recalibrate the compressor. Okay, set at 32. Exactly at 32 psi right now. Let's recheck what's on the analog gauge. Boom, 32. What I can tell, analog gauge and this is all identical. So I get, uh, so I assume that this uh, actual digital uh, gauge is reading correctly because uh, two out of one, so it's a match. All right, so as you see, this little inflator or little uh, wireless comp uh, compressor slash uh, battery bank works pretty good and i'll show you now how big that is uh, comparing to for example my uh, pixel phone 
All right, so this is my Google Pixel 6 Pro, which is very similar in size to Samsung Note 10 Plus. Uh, so it's uh, really small and basically not too thick at all. And now if I remember correctly, the weight of it uh, when I was looking online on Amazon, that was about uh, 800 grams, but don't quote me for sure. I'll put it down uh, in the description, uh, the exact weight of that thing, or even a link to the Amazon so you can look it up for yourself. It's uh, way smaller than the Osser uh, compressor that I had previously, which was also a pretty decent compressor. Uh, but it didn't have the charging option, uh, that's number one. And number two, it was uh, longer and way heavier, and that was made out of uh, plastic. Uh, there's similar ones uh, on Amazon, also made out of plastic, I've seen. But uh, this one is the newer one, uh, the new version. So uh, I went with that one because uh, the previous generation was uh, slightly different. We got a plane coming here. Somebody's having fun, I guess. So yeah, the, this is it uh, for today uh, on this review. I hope you enjoyed that video. And uh, if you found it helpful, uh, um, don't forget to hit the like button. Uh, if you have any questions, comment down below and subscribe to the channel for future videos and uh, reviews and uh, to follow my adventures. Uh, the season is coming shortly, so uh, the riding will begin. Until next time, cheers.